Welcome to Oryx Learning. This lesson is going to be on Unit 1, Real Numbers, Lesson 3, Multiplying and Dividing Monomials. So in order to compare numbers, understanding properties of monomials can be really helpful. For example, if Saudi Arabia's coastline is approximately 7 to the 4th kilometers, and Iraq's coastline is approximately 7 to the second kilometers, how many times greater is Saudi Arabia's coastline than Iraq's? In order to solve this, we'll use the information in the lesson and revisit it at the end. So a monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. For example, 2 would be a monomial, 4a would be a monomial, negative 7a squared, and 9xy squared are all monomials. The product of powers tells us that if we want to multiply powers with the same base, we can add their exponents. For example, if we have 4 to the 5th times 4 squared, two monomials multiplied together that have the same base, we can add their exponents 5 plus 2 and get 4 to the 7th. The quotient of powers property says to divide powers with the same base, subtract their exponents. So for example, if we had 4 to the 5th divided by 4 squared, two monomials divided by one another, they have the same base, we can subtract their exponents, so 5 minus 2 would give us 4 to the 3rd. Which expansion matches the exponential expression negative 3 to the 4th? So in negative 3 to the 4th, we know that the base, negative 3, should be used 4 times, a factor of 4 times. So negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which just so happens to be the first answer choice here. In order to evaluate the expression 5 to the 7th divided by 5 to the 4th, remember our properties that say if we have two monomials divided by one another that have the same base, we can subtract the exponents, so in this case 7 minus 4, which would give us 5 to the 3rd, and 5 to the 3rd is 5 times 5 times 5, or 125. Simplify the expression 2x to the 3rd times 3x to the 5th. When we multiply monomials, we can first multiply their coefficients, and then we can use our property to multiply like bases, which says we can add the exponents. So in this case, the coefficients are 2 and 3, so we'll multiply those together 2 times 3. And the bases are x to the 3rd and x to the 5th, Right, add the exponents 3 plus 5, and we get 6x to the 8th. Next example, simplify the expression negative 1 to the 3rd times 2 squared times xy to the 3rd times negative 1 squared, 2 squared, y squared. So same idea here, we can multiply all of the coefficients together, and then when we're multiplying like bases, we'll add the exponents. So it's best if you rewrite these with the coefficients together, the x's together, and then the y's together. So in this case, we have negative 1, right? Negative 1 to the third and negative 1 squared. Like bases, we'll add the exponents, 3 plus 2. We have bases of 2, 2 squared and 2 squared, so we'll add the exponents, 2 plus 2. There is only one x, so that will remain. And then the y's, we have a y to the third and a y squared, so we will add those exponents as well. Simplifying, we'll get negative 1 to the fifth, 2 to the fourth, x and y to the fifth. Negative 1 to the fifth is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. And we know that a negative number to an odd power will always be negative, and negative 1 or 1 to the fifth will be 1. So negative 1 to the 5th is negative 1. 2 to the 4th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is going to be 16. So we really get negative 16xy to the 5th. Simplify the expression negative 3 to the 4th, 2 to the 3rd, a to the 4th. 
divided by negative 3 squared, 2 squared, a. So in this one, we can use our property, our quotient property, that says with like bases, we can subtract the exponents. We have like bases of 3, 2, and a. We'll subtract each one of their exponents. So 4 minus 2, 3 minus 2, and 4 minus 1. Remember that the exponent for a is 1 if it's not written there. Simplifying, we'll get negative 3 squared times 2 to the first times a to the third. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is just 9. 2 to the first is just 2. And then 9 times 2 will give us our final answer of 18a to the third. All right, colony A contains 7 to the third ants. Colony B contains 7 to the fifth ants. How many times greater is the ant population in colony B? So if we're comparing the two, we'll divide 7 to the fifth by 7 to the third to see how many times greater the population in colony B is than colony A. With like bases, when we're dividing, we can subtract the exponents, 7 to the 5 minus 3, which would give us 7 squared, and 7 times 7, or 7 squared, is 49. So colony B is 49 times greater than colony A. So in conclusion, a monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. In order to multiply and divide monomials, we can use those product of powers and quotient of powers properties or rules. The product of powers states that if we have like bases, we add the exponents. The quotient of powers states that if you're dividing with like bases, you subtract the exponents. So let's go back to that coastlines problem that we had at the beginning. So now if we want to divide the monomials using the quotient or power rule, let's look back at the original. So the original said that Saudi Arabia's coastline is 7 to the 4th kilometers. Iraq's coastline is 7 to the 2nd kilometers. How many times greater is Saudi Arabia's coastline? So just like the ant problem, we can take 7 to the 4th divided by 7 squared. That quotient of power rule will say that we subtract the exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2. And again, 7 times 7, 7 squared is 49. So Saudi Arabia's coastline is approximately 49 times greater than Iraq's coastline. So that has been our lesson on Unit 1, Lesson 3, Multiplying and Dividing Monomials.